Your Storm Shield forecast only on Fox 47 News. Some parts of our viewing area, Justin, getting quite the light show at this hour. Absolutely, and some getting much more than just a light show, too, Sarah. We've got some thunderstorm warnings in effect across the region. You can see the skies really looking nice and rainy. I look at the flashes out there over our East Lansing camp, lighting up the whole sky right there tonight. 71 is the current temperature. We're not worried about the temperatures right now. We've got four counties underneath severe thunderstorm warnings right now going through the areas near Marshall and going through Calhoun County as well as Brand County and Jackson County and Hillsdale County both just got added to those warnings. We also have got some warnings for this storm going through the Ann Arbor area in Washtenaw County. A whole lot of activity going on, mainly again south of the I-96 corridor, but everyone getting hit with these storms. And we've got 60 mile per hour winds. There's reports coming in of six inch diameter trees that have been taken out by these storms. And in some cases, there have been some hailstones up to three quarters of an inch. We're watching this very closely, even without the lightning. You can see just how, how how heavy the rain is out there coming down all of those deep reds that we see and those are again right now moving through branch and Calhoun County towards Jackson and Hillsdale County Washtenaw County right now underneath a separate area backing out you can see that there's even more storms associated with this line down in northern Indiana but we're going to stay focused on the activity right here in mid Michigan as this continues to move through the region you'll want to be weather aware with us as we go throughout the evening as we're going to keep you updated here now the severe weather risk of course it's still there as we're dealing with that right now still in the enhanced category main threats again being 60 mile per hour winds torrential rainfall and even localized flooding across the region future track here again showing the heavy rain move through the area by the time we hit the top of the hour, it's still right on top of most of us. In fact, that warning in Jackson County until 1130 PM. And I'm assuming that this same storm is going to continue to push through into Livingston and Washtenaw County eventually as well. So we'll continue to track this throughout the next couple of hours. By around one in the morning, most of it's out of the region heading towards the Detroit area, but still a few localized areas of some showers and storms behind that. These probably will not be closer to the severe side as the system that just moved through. By the time we hit our Saturday early morning hours. We're just underneath the clouds, maybe an isolated quick shower or so, but not much. And into the afternoon, we even looked like we were going to clear out, see a good deal of sun by the end of the day. But tonight, again, strong and severe storms still out there. 68 that overnight low temperature. Tomorrow looks like a heck of a lot better day out there. Towards the end of the day, we get some late clearing. Temperature is going to be very comfortable. Humidity will die down a tad, but we're still at 83 degrees for the high with that late day clearing. So here's the seven day and really not much to worry about outside of that early isolated rain chance on Saturday. Not a whole lot of activity whatsoever going on. Looks like we've got lots of sunshine temperatures heating a hot stretch. We're warming up eventually into the low 90s by the time we get to Thursday and Friday as we head towards Independence Day weekend. Again, the main thing we're focusing on this evening again, Sarah is going to be those thunderstorms. Be weather aware and we're going to keep tracking them for you.